I'm not a sponsored video, by the way. ATK. You're amazing, you've worked for Mavic. You're my best friend's dad works for you. Okay. I haven't posted a video in February and my reason is school. School has been getting really hard because I'm in the gifted class where <clears throat> where you get a lot more homework and you get <clears throat> a lot more of expected than you. So I had to like work around it. Anyway, I'm going to be doing the 10, ooh, my special number actually now. It is 10 things about me. Okay, so here we go. Okay, number one, I have this weird habit of doing something with deodorant. Okay, so let me just say something. I've got three deodorants. One, I got because I needed one. Two, I got one because I had left it on at home while we were on vacation. Three, it was a free thing and my mom didn't need it. Okay, I have this weird habit of putting this one on my face for some reason. Because I feel like it's so soft. If you ever feel deodorant, just try and put it on your face. It's so soft. Okay, next. Okay. Number two. I have the best fragrances. My top three fragrances are the Forever Pink, Sparkling Apple, and Water Lily Body Mist from Victoria's Secret. Next is the Teria by Rue21. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but I don't really care. No. I'm sorry if I'm looking a little bit yellow. I've got a lamp on right here, and the bowl was an incandescent. Wait. Yes. I, those make me look yellow for some reason. And last but not least, I dropped it. <laughs> I tried to pick it up and then grab it like this, but it didn't work. So this is the Victoria's Secret Shimmer and Shine Cheeky. Is that how you say that? Yeah. Cheeky and Bright Body Mist. From, again, if you can read that, Victoria's Secret. It's there, but yeah. Okay. So, number three. I love pomegranates. I have this little cup, and inside of it are all pomegranate seeds. Go to the room. I have this sitting on a necklace stand, by the way, so it might be a little wobbly. They're my favorite fruit, and I tried them last year, and I completely fell in love with them. Number four, yes. This is my all-time favorite book. If you can't read that, it says The Secret Garden. I'm not sure if this records backwards or not. I'm not sure. I don't know. Anyway, The Secret Garden. It's the story... Should I just read you the back? I'll read you this short little paragraph. Mary Lennox, a sickly orphan, finds herself in her uncle's gloomy, secretive manor house. Yet with hope, friendship, and the magic of nature, many, many, Mary brings the house and a long lost garden back to life. It's a really good book. She goes to her, fa her father's... <laughs> I have a mirror right here, so sorry if I'm looking up for some reason. Her uncle's house and she meets a boy and two boys one is their uncle's nephew one is a boy who just lives there to help his family and is a slave i can't remember it's been a while since i've read it but it's such a good book it's close to my heart and i really really love it five this is my favorite time of all time chapstick like you hand this to me you're never getting it back. Like, hey, you want? Can I grab some plastic? Thank you. You are never getting this back. Here, I gave some deodorant. I rubbed on my face instead. Okay, so this is the. It's by Wonka. It's Wonka. I can't hold it right. It's a fun dip one. If you can read backwards, you know what that says. Or forwards, I don't know. It's cherry um diddly dip. It's the flavor of it. It's like, and it's by Lick Lick Made. L I K. Um. What is that? Python M Python aid. Okay. <clears throat> Three. I've got some things to show you now. Number three. I mean, what is the number three? Number six. I have gone to something called the Iron Kid. If you don't know what the Iron Kid is, look it up because it's really hard to explain. Um, I got two of these. We got bronze. I went with a girl named Navy and Ren. 
I'm like stepping right here and you're almost cutting off my face. And this is the what it looks like. You can go all through um, elementary school, I believe. And where I'm from where I'm from, uh, some places, I'm hanging it somewhere, um, some places they mix, um, sixth grade with, I'm in sixth grade, sixth grade with, um, elementary school, so I'm still in elementary school. And this one was from a hula hooping competition that we had done, and if you had hula hooped, it depended on what grade you were, so sixth grade is six minutes, fifth grade is five minutes. I was in fourth grade, so I had to do four minutes, but I was doing a lot of fancy tricks. I was like, ooh, and spinning in circles, like, ooh, I win. So, and then number seven kind of go, goes all along. Is this number seven? I'm going to say this. I'm sorry if I skip one. <laughs> I'll probably watch it back, and then in the description, if I did miss one, it'll be down there. Um, This it kind of goes, number seven kind of goes with this. This is a silver medal. This is not from the Iron Kid. This is from something called the Math Science Olympia. Look it up. Um, I got this from Crypto. And if you don't know what Crypto is, that's easy to explain. You get five cards. There's one card that you want to try and get by using division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. You can get three different points. One from getting the answer. One from having three different two-digit cards. And then the last one for getting the answer, of course. So, eh. I'm ready. I'm terrible at keeping plants. I'm gonna grab this. If you don't know what a terrarium is, you plant plants in a drawer. This is what happened to mine. Yeah, not good. Okay. So, next is. Eh, I'm falling down. My room is a mess. And supposed to be cleaning it but I didn't feel like it so <laughs> I'm just doing this because I got kind of bored so yeah don't be proud of me if you were ever proud of me you should never be <laughs> okay um so number nine is it okay no I uh, you knocked down the lip balm this is amazing. Okay, it's half eaten, so it smells amazing. This is called a gravel. I tried it today, and they're really good. I was eating it right before this. It's a grape mixed with an apple. It smells like artificial grape, and it tastes like artificial grape. I love that taste, so for me, that's like heaven. <laughs> I love it. It smells amazing. It tastes amazing. And last but not least... This is probably the cutest thing I have ever had in my life. It's broken though. And it says not for food use, but you contain poison. And don't we just want to give everybody poison? For sure. Okay. I actually just made up that last one because I had forgotten what I was actually going to do. What was it? Just ignore that one. It'll be 11. Change this name to 10 slash 11. Anyway, so if you look at my eyelashes. Here, I'm going to angle you towards the light so you can see. Actually, I'm not sure if I'm going to do this. But if you look at my eyelashes, you would think that these are fake, but they're not. I've used mascara once in my entire life. I'm only still 11. I had gone to a play, yeah, it was a play with my mom, and I had her in through some on without her knowing, and she's like, Is, are you wearing mascara? And I'm like, yeah, and she's like, mm, it's okay, because I loved makeup. For some reason, I didn't know what it was, so I just loved to use it. Um, and after that, my eyelashes have never changed. I might be able to... Oh, that's actually pretty good, if you can see it like that. Yeah, I've never used it, and this, these are my natural eyelashes. Every time I go somewhere and I, like, meet somebody, I'm just like, are your eyelashes real? And 
They say, I'm not trying to be mean. Are your eyelashes real? And I'm like, yeah. They're like, sweet. Okay. So, I have got one second. About an hour to finish cleaning up this monstrous room of a mess, which I'm going to show you. It's not too messy because I've already cleaned up a little bit. Hey, there's my bird. Um, I cleaned up like half of it, but I hate cleaning, so bye.